Hello guys, welcome to the channel. I'm up super late doing this Kazix guide for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I have come from my house, which is half an hour away. I, currently, I don't have internet at my house. I have to drive to my parents where my computer is set up. I drove there at midnight, got there ready for the release of Kazix, and I built a comprehensive guide for you. I'll also have a Rengar guide coming out a few hours later, uh, but Hell's Devil will have published in a great Rengar guide, as, as a Rengar guide, I think, as well, so make sure you go and check him out. But this is my Kazix guide, and we are going to cover build, ability, and leveling priority, runes, all that kind of stuff, abilities and what they do, evolution pathways, and then tips and tricks for Kha'Zix. All of that will be timestamped in the description below. Go and check it out. If you like the content, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I'm doing a giveaway in May again, so if you leave a comment and subscribe, you'll be in with a chance to win at the end of May one of 10 skins. The April winners will be announced this week in a pinned comment on a video, probably the next one that I release, so make sure you check it out from April if you did enter the contest. And of course, as always, thanks to G2A for sponsoring the channel. I don't want to waste any more of your time, guys, guys though. I know you're really excited about this new champion, so let's just get straight into the guide. Okay, let's start off with build. Um, and for the first time ever, the, the recommended build that they've thrown over to Kha'Zix is actually relatively good. There aren't many items right now that really benefit Kha'Zix, but he does really do well with cooldown reduction or ability haste and just flat damage and penetration. So the build that they've got is Black Cleaver into Dustblade of Drakthar into... Or, or I've changed some things. Black Cleaver into Dustblade of Drakthar. I quite like the stasis enchant. I think because you, you're an assassin that jumps in, you get into the middle of the enemy lines. Yeah, okay. Hextech Belt is good for closing a bit of distances, but I'm going to be honest with you. If you aren't killing someone quickly and getting a reset on your jump, I think I think the stasis enchant is going to keep you safer. I, I think I prefer stasis overall on Kha'Zix just because it gives you that little bit of extra time to think, reset, potentially use your ultimate. Um, there are lots of tricks that you can do with the stasis enchant. Um, GA, I think GA is a critical item for Kha'Zix. It's going to keep you a threat even after you've died in a team fight. Uh, and then you can follow up with things like the Mortal Reminder and the Yomi's Ghost Blade. Kha'Zix does not work well with any of the critical strike based items because a lot of his damage comes from abilities. So you just want anything that's providing with flat penetration and flat damage. This is a relatively solid build for Kha'Zix. You can't go too far wrong with it. However, there are some suggestions that I could make. Um, if you want to snowball the game harder, you play Dustblade of Drakthar first. If you're doing really well, make sure you skip Black Cleaver and go Dustblade of Drakthar first because you can put a lot of damage down. Another item that you could consider later on, because I don't really rate Ghost Blade, is Death Dance. This is an item that works relatively well with Kha'Zix. In fact, I think actually this is a build that I might stick to with the Death Dance as an option. But again, if you're going, if it's going really well, Dust Blade the Drakthar first. Otherwise, Black Cleaver is a relatively good start. In terms of runes, Kha'Zix is one of the few junglers that doesn't really make great use of Conqueror, and it's all about Electrocute. So you're just looking to burst someone, single target burst, that is what Electrocute is for. Brutal because you're clearing the jungle and then both of the hunter runes because you are a jungler You're looking to get involved in as many kills as possible hunter titan and hunter genius are both great runes for kha'zix All right, should we talk a little bit about ability priority and when I say ability priority I basically just mean which abilities are you leveling first? Relatively simple with ability priority. We level our first ability then we level our second ability, and then we level our third ability with, of course, putting points in our ultimate whenever we can. What I would say is the evolution priority will differ depending on what you want, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that once we get into our uh, ability overview and combos, which we'll do just in a moment. Okay, let's start talking about his abilities. First of all, Unseen Threat. Enhances the next attack against enemy champions to deal an additional 129 magic damage that scales with your AD and slows by 25% for 2 seconds. Unseen threat is refreshed when the enemy loses sight of Kha'Zix. So I'll walk up to him and you'll see that I'll deal a little bit of extra damage. The enemy has now lost sight of me and you can see that my talons are glowing again. Lost sight of me, talons are glowing again. This synergizes really well with his ultimate which we'll talk about in a moment. So that's relatively simple. Taste their fear. Slashes with his claws, dealing 180 physical damage. If the target is isolated, the damage is increased by 110%. Um, and if you evolve this, 
Attacks and Taste Their Fear gain 50 range and 45% of Taste Their Fear's cooldown is refunded against isolated targets. It's a very good upgrade with your ultimate, which of course I'll talk about the upgrades when we get to talking about the ultimate. But as you can see, this, uh, this particular little dude is isolated. But if I were to add another enemy dummy here, you'll see that they do not have the aura around them and it does significantly less damage. Okay, let's talk a little bit about his second ability now, Void Spikes. Fires a spike that deals physical damage, scaling with AD, and it heals Kha'Zix that scales with AP if he's within the explosion radius. If you evolve it, you get two extra spikes, and it slows the enemies for 60% for two seconds. Um, leveling this up just gets you uh, uh, more base damage and heal. So I'm going to show you this here. It's got a relatively good range on it as you can see i've got i've got zero cooldowns right now just to show you this if you notice at the end there is a small aoe explosion if you're in that explosion radius it will heal you you can see the the small particle effects on kazix the green particle effects looks a little bit like the soraka heal that is the healing that you get from it of course uh, evolving it will give you three spikes which i'll talk about in a moment finally uh well rather finally before we get to the ultimate leap leaps to a target area uh, dealing 202 physical damage, 20% bonus AD scaling. Um, and if you evolve it, gains 250 extra range on leap and its cooldown is reset on champion takedowns. This is Ch Kazix's leap. As you can see, it does a small amount of damage in an area. Uh, now, let's talk about the ultimate. These are relatively simple abilities so far. Right, Void Assault. Each rank in Void Assault allows Kazix to evolve one of his abilities. Now he's from the Void, a little bit like Kaiser. You can see the thematic with Void champions. They often have this ability to kind of adapt what they do. Active becomes invisible and gains 40% movement speed for 1.25 seconds. Void Assault can be cast again within 10 seconds. If you evolve his ultimate, um, invisib invisibility duration is increased to two seconds and it can be, can be cast up to three times instead of two. So I'm going to show you the evolution of his basic abilities first. Um, as you can see, you get these little small icons above his abilities here. And I'm going to show you what, uh, what his, um, ultimate actually does. As you can see, I've got my passive. I hit it. I go invisible for a small second. You can see my passive is reset. I can hit it again. I go invisible for some more seconds, as you can see. Um, I'm going to turn the cooldowns off just so you can see that you, you only get two. You actually can break the invisibility earlier, but as you can see, I've only got two. Now we have evolved the rest of our abilities. Let's go through them one by one. When you have Kha'Zix evolved first ability, it refunds part of the cooldown when you attack an isolated target. So you're dealing extra damage and you're refunding part of the cooldown when you deal extra damage like this. You can see like that. His evolved W gives him, or his evolved second ability gives him two extra spikes and it slows them on contact. As you can see, slows them. Now, you might think that it is uh, easy to hit three, three spikes on the same target. Actually, very difficult to do so. Um, I'm just going to turn it on to zero cooldown so we can keep trying this. It's quite difficult to hit three, t uh, three spikes on the same target, as you can see. Um, no matter how close I am, some of those spikes are going awry. So hitting three spikes on the same target is a little bit more difficult. It's more meant for team fight control, upgrading this ability. Now, with his evolved leap, I won't be able to kill the target dummy, so you won't be able to see it, but... The range is much larger, as you can see, a huge range on it. Um, and so it gives you that increased range and the cooldown resets uh, once you have um, killed someone in a team fight or got an assist. So you get you get a reset much like Katarina would. Uh, Kazix's kit works in a similar way. Now let's show you the evolved ultimate just to see what that last ability looks like when it's evolved. Okay, and just to show you the final ability evolution, this is your evolved ultimate ultimate it allows you to extend the stealth duration to two seconds and then gives you an extra charge of stealth in a team fight situation so watch this once or oh, wait a second I need to, yeah the zero corners off twice and we're going for two seconds and then finally three times as you can see there is a small delay between casting each one of them you have to remember there is a two second delay between casting each of your stealths but that is the essence of his ultimate so we've talked about each of his individual abilities. We've talked about the upgrades. Now let's talk about which upgrades are best. In general, in general, there are two main upgrade pathways that you want to consider. 
The first upgrade that you want to take in most circumstances is your first ability. Why do you want to take your first ability upgrade? Why do you want to evolve that first in most circumstances? It's purely extra damage, especially at level five, where you're going to be more likely to catch people out individually, or you're going to be find people that you're still ganking people at level five. This is going to allow you to walk into a lane and deal much more damage to an isolated enemy. Um, then you want to upgrade in general your... Um, third ability or your or, or ultimate so essentially you have two choices at the the next the next level the next ultimate upgrade most people want to upgrade their jump on the second upgrade the reason being is at that point in the game you're generally team fighting and the jump upgrade is absolutely necessary to make kazix a monster in team fights so the jump upgrade is generally considered the second best upgrade in his kit you then have two choices for your final upgrade so when you upgrade your ultimate for the last time, I believe it's level 13. You're going to choose between his ultimate upgrade or you're going to choose between his second ability upgrade. Those two choices are as follows. If you want to be more outplay potential, so if you want to try and duke, outplay, maybe kind of slip through the enemy lines, get to the back line, then you want to upgrade his ultimate. It gives you an extra stealth and it's going to allow you to be more slippery. If you want to be more controlling in a team fight, and when I say controlling, I mean slowing enemies down, trying to just control the pace of the team fight. Maybe you're going to wait around the edges of a team fight or you're, you're not going to engage straight away. You just want to be firing off your missiles. Then you want to upgrade your second ability. So you're going to want to upgrade first ability, third ability, and then either second or, or ultimate, depending on the situation that you're in. So just remember this. You always upgrade your first ability and third ability. So always upgrade those two. Then you make a choice between upgrading the ultimate and upgrading the spikes, depending on whether you want to be more slippery and more outplay in team fights, or you just want to have more team fight control. You want to be able to slow enemies and kind of like essentially be more playing on the outskirts and playing for a team fight. So those are the two options that you've got when it comes to upgrading your abilities. Let's now talk about some tips and tricks with Kha'Zix before we move on to Kha'Zix. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is ability buffering. Ability buffering is the, the concept of queuing up abilities whilst you're in midair as Kha'Zix. Most commonly done to combo your Taste Their Fear and Void Spikes as soon as you land on the target like this. You see, I cast all of them in one go and I got the Electrocute proc off it as well. Um, but you can do it with each individual ability like this. You don't have to queue all of them up together, but obviously you would always want to queue them up together. One little tip that I have for you that's going to make this easier for you in general. Make sure you queue up Taste Their Fear first. The reason is, if you queue up Void Spikes, then Taste Their Fear, Taste Their Fear actually actually cancels Void Spikes. You see this? Unless you do it really late in. That did that actually work that time. But in general, it can be a little bit janky if you queue up... Um, uh, void spikes first. Well, this is just me. This is me queuing up taste their fear first. But if you if you if you queue up void spikes first, like I did there. So like, this is me tapping void spikes before I tap taste their fear. You'll notice that it's, it doesn't go off because the taste their fear actually cancels the void spikes. It's a little bit inconsistent. But if you want to be way more consistent, tap taste their fear first, and void spikes will get cast. You can also queue up um, your ultimate if you want to, uh, but it's a little bit more janky. And also jumping in and immediately using your ultimate is never usually the best idea. So you want to basically queue up your third ability followed by your first ability and second ability. That's the little tips and tricks. One extra little thing that you might not know is you can actually you can actually use your first ability mid-air like this. As you're jumping over them, you can use it. Use it. If you're jumping away from them, you can use it as well. This is especially good if you have the evolved... Um, the evolved first ability because you have the increased range you can't actually do it with void spikes because void spikes in this game can't be cast in midair void spikes can only be cast when you actually land on the ground which is different to league pc because i believe in league pc you can cast void spikes in the air which you can't do on this game however you can essentially fade away first ability them with your jump and you see you don't actually even have to be that close to them to use it like this you can see especially with the evolved version, I'm able to use it while I'm in midair jumping. So that's a little bit of a tips and tricks when it comes to ability buffering for Kha'Zix. This becomes important, especially around things like blue buff, where if you've got blue buff targeted and you just fade away, you can actually fade away, you can fade away kill blue buff as you're jumping over the wall like this. Like you see, 
I can get a really big fade away on blue buff. This is something that can actually happen uh, to uh, enemy champions as well. However, if you want to maintain vision, what you might not know is Void Spikes actually grants you vision of the target like this. So I've actually still got vision of that target right now because of Void Spikes. So Void Spikes actually grants you vision of the target, um, which is pretty cool. But again, it's a way of just... So like it's Void Spikes like this. I've still got vision of the target and I can actually can actually attack it over the wall in some circumstances. Speaking of attacking over the wall, there are some areas that Kha'Zix can actually attack over the wall. Like here, you can see I can actually attack this dummy over the wall. And I can actually use my first ability as well over the wall from a greater distance. However, this becomes way more consistent when you upgrade that first ability, as you can see. I can actually attack them from a significant distance away now. So upgrading your first ability allows you to attack enemies over walls. I'll put um, a training dummy and a board here as well. Actually, do I even need to put... Oh, I, can, I, can, I can just attack the chickens, right? Look. See? I can actually attack things over the wall. So that's important to know. While we've got the chickens here as well, uh, I am going to talk to you a little bit about how to jungle with them. So, Kha'Zix, obviously, is very good at clearing jungles when he's got isolated damage. So what you want to do as Kha'Zix is actually group them up like this. You want to try your very best to kill the small ones off uh, before you kill any of anything else off. And then, once you've got the big one by themselves, it becomes ridiculously easy to clear. I'm just going to quickly jump all the way over here just to show you this in again. So, I'm going to jump into a camp. I'm going to just drag them all over as you do with any melee jungler. Void spikes them. And you can see, once the little ones are down, we are clearing much quicker. So, with Kha'Zix, it is all about killing off the little camp... The little dudes in the camp before you kill off the the big dudes because it's going to help you deal way more damage to the uh to the big camp so with kha'zix when you're clearing the jungle make sure you're killing off the little camps uh the little monsters in the camp uh because that's going to allow you to then isolate the big monster and deal more damage to it okay there is a little flash combo you can do this is literally about the only cool flash combo that you can do with kha'zix you can use his void spikes then flash um, but they'll always cast in the direction that you've cast them um, in, in terms of the angle that you've cast them. So you've just got to be aware of that. They'll always cast in the angle that you've actually ended up casting them. I want to show you the reason why I like uh, Zonyas as well. So let's say that I'm jumping into a fight with old Darius here. who doesn't want to come near me, apparently. Let's say I'm jumping into a fight with old Darius here. I'm jumping and dealing some damage. And then I Zonyas, I can immediately go into stealth from Zonyas. And that'll give me a little bit of time to reposition. So that's why I really like Zonyas. I can also Zonyas into stealth and then immediately use my stealth again afterwards. It's just a good way in the middle of teamfights for repositioning and so on and so forth.